Okay, welcome back to my man cave and my channel. Not an expert. Today I'm just going to give you a short video on how you can use your drill press to decap your brass, brass before reloading or before cleaning. Just a quick tip here when you bring back all your brass from the range and you've got different sizes and that you collected, I found that an old carrying case from a 40 Smith and Wesson works works really well for sorting out your brass. You can see that's a nine millimeter there that puts it there and it's really easy to check. There's a tactile and a visual indicator there. These are a 40 Smith and Wesson. These are all the same height. These are nine millimeter. These are all height and these are various 32s and 39s which I don't reload. So I put those in there but you can see how easy it is to verify and sort your brass this way. And you can see right now I put a 380 down in the wrong spot. And it's really easy to confuse 380 with 9mm. So I put that over there. 40, 40, and 9, 9, 9. So you can see these are all 9mm. These are all 40 Smith & Wesson. And these are the odd ones that I just used for recycling. My setup for using a drill press for decapping brass. Once you get it set up, it goes very quickly, very easy to use. I find it easier than using any other method. Method. Remember, you can only do boxer primers, and you only want to do brass to do this. If you're not sure what those are, look at one of my other videos. But you can see, once you get into it, it goes super fast, super easy. And this, this device I made here, or jig, is super simple. I screw it down to the wood plate that I have affixed to my drill press. And when I take it off, left a little storage here. And inside here, it's pretty simple. Just mounted a 1 8 inch drill bit into this piece here. And this piece is a 5 16 inch stud. And like I said, this is 1 8 here. I'm sorry, this is 1 16th here. That's 1 16th, not 1 8th. And this was real easy to make. Take the 1 8 inch drill, drill as best as you can in the center there, flip it around, tap it in. So on this one here, I broke off the twist part of the drill bit to give it a little bit more strength. And then when I'm done with all this, this all goes together like this, and I put it back in my reloading box with everything else. This is real simple. It's a... Um, Fender washer with two screws held down to it. In the center here, a one quarter inch hole has been drilled. And the drill inside the fender washer here is just to match up. So it fits nicely with a nine millimeter. And you might have to play around that with that for a while. When you go to set up here, there is a little bit of adjustments to be made and tuning in. So usually I put this in here like this, find the previous hole, put that in there, and put this in here. You'd start out by seeing if it's aligned by putting that down into the primer hole there. There it goes, pops in, and it comes down. You can see this is already lined up here, but if it wasn't, you could wiggle the plate around or in some cases this is a little bit off center here so just turning that will move this a little bit around but you can see pop that one right out pop that one right out and it's pretty simple one other last tip here if you can see down in here I have thousands of primers Make sure you cover up the hole in your drill plate first. I have a piece of cardboard that I just stick down in there. And then when I've got this filled up, I just bring the trash can, put it underneath here, 
pop that out and they drain down into the trash can. And this is a simple plate that I have made up for the 40 Smith & Wesson. Same principle. You take this screw out here, screw it down to there, and you just start popping them out. Pretty simple and I find it a lot easier than to use a decapping press. This goes real quickly. And you've got lots of hands in here to get, lots of room in here to get your hands in there work. So hope this works out for you. If you have any other questions, you can check some of my other videos. Thanks for stopping by.